Welcome back, everyone. In the last episode, we saw what happens when Repliforce decides it wants to declare independence while X is still on call. This time, we'll see what would happen if the other Class SA Maverick Hunter was the first to arrive. Now go. Destroy him. That's an order. What? Wait! Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> emergency! Emergency! All Maverick hunters on call! Should assemble immediately. The same dream. Again. I do appreciate that they acknowledge that Zero's original chassis didn't look like this. Mavericks emerge at the point five five six seven. They've occupied Sky Lagoon. This looks like the Repla Force is doing. Repla Force? Okay, I'm on my way. Woo! Zero's first fully playable appearance. Let the sword shenanigans begin. Of course, it would help if my controls were set up correctly. Alright, that all looks correct. Zero may not have the advantage of ranged attacks, but the sheer force behind that saber more than makes up for this. Unfortunately, it looks like Zero buys his story hook, line, and sinker, too. On the subject of Zero's eye color, as I was speaking in the last episode, I really think maybe there was a uh, little mistake made when programming and drawing the sprites, because in all the FMV sequences, X has blue eyes and Zero has green, as has been the case since X1. But then in their profile speaking pictures, it's reversed. Iris, 
What are you doing here? Are you okay? Did you come to save me? Yes. Hang on. Liar! You did not come here to save her. You'll save her because you're here, but that's not why you're here. To be honest, he was merciful with his decision not to use close-ranged attacks mixed into his pattern. Long time no see. This is not a good time to be saying something like that. Yeah, Colonel seems a lot more pig-headed in this one. Like, Zero's not calling him a maverick, he's saying, THEY'RE GONNA CALL YOU A MAVERICK IF YOU DON'T COME WITH ME. And he's just like, "Oh, FUCK THEM! Brave soldiers of Repliforce, we have all been wrongfully judged as mavericks by the humans. We cannot suffer this indignity and live in disgrace. We will build our own nation of Reploids. But remember, this is neither about insurrection nor rebellion against our human creators. This is about our liberty and security. We must battle for our own individual rights and our own survival. Together, we will build our nation, a sanctuary for all Reploids, our own utopia. Let us forge onward towards a new golden era for the Repliforce. Yeah! I too share the general sentiment. Take heed, we have no other choice. Let us fight valiantly, with courage and pride. Without fear, for we are the Repliforce. The most powerful army in history! Yeah! <laughs> the General has finally taken action. And now, my Maverick Hunters, what will you do? I'll be watching closely from here on out. <laughs> Still greatly curious where the hell this little secret headquarters of Sigma is.
Huh. I guess we kind of failed in that mission last time. We located him, but we certainly didn't bring him back to Hunter HQ. At least not in one piece. Just as before, the first maverick on our list to be hunted is Web Spider. Well, my playthrough with Zero should be shorter. If nothing else, I have four less goodies to collect because he doesn't get any armor. For those of you who might be curious and haven't played this game yourself, had I gone there to retrieve the leg armor, there'd simply have been no capsule there whatsoever. God, that attack feels so weird. And while I will say that for a first fully playable appearance, Zero's control scheme is not bad at all. It's uh, definitely made a lot better in 5 by the ability to rapidly turn around mid-combo. Gotta say, Zero's playstyle definitely lends itself better to rush tactics. That Saber's attack strength is just crazy. But unfortunately, the price he had to pay for them to... Or rather, the price paid for it becoming his new mainstay weapon is that, in this game at least, he has absolutely no access to his Buster Cannon. Now I debate. Do I... well, no, I take it back. I can't use the ultimate cheese that is the Hyper Slash combo in this fight, because I have a enemy suspended from the ceiling rather than standing on the floor, but we'll investigate that in the next episode. Yes, Web Spider used to be a member of Maverick Hunter. I have to say that that uh, organization does not have a track record of reliable 
I don't know if you'd consider them employees, but reliable agents. But apparently, humanity never quite did figure out a way to create weapons of their own capable of countering magic threats. Do expect to see me take a lot more contact damage this run through. I definitely like that they gave Zero and X different level complete and opening level themes. Alright, well, as before, with the opening level and the first Maverick out of the way, I'll see you on the other side.